Now, as gunshots echo across the windswept, snow-covered reaches of the wild northwest, Quaker Puff wheat and Quaker Puff rice, the breakfast cereal shot from guns, present the challenge of the Yukon. It's Yukon King, swiftest and strongest lead dog of the Northwest, blazing the trail for Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police in his relentless pursuit of lawbreakers. One King! One Huskies! Gold, gold discovered in the Yukon, a stampede to the Klondike in the wild race for riches. Back to the days of the gold rush, with Quaker Puff wheat and Quaker Puff rice, bringing you the adventures of Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog, Yukon King, as they meet the challenge of the Yukon. When it comes to breakfast, I'll skip it. Oh, so you're a breakfast skipper. Say, just listen to this. Nutrition authorities say breakfast should furnish from one quarter to one third of the day's total food requirements. You mean folks should eat good breakfast? That's right. A lot of folks should eat a better breakfast. Eat a cereal. You can't go wrong if you eat plenty of cereal, fruit, milk, bread, and butter. So tomorrow, enjoy a heaping bowl full of delicious Quaker puffed wheat or Quaker puffed rice topped with milk or cream and fruit. It's delicious. What's more, for added health benefits, natural grain amounts of vitamin B1, niacin, and iron are restored in wheat and rice shot from guns. Yes, and talk about good. Just try them. Thanks, mister. That sounds terrific. Yes, everyone loves to eat Quaker puffed rice and Quaker puffed wheat. When Sam Jackson retired as constable, he bought out the general store in Horsehead. He was straightening his shelves when the day's first customer came in. It was nine-year-old Bobby Lennox. Well, Bobby, you shopping on your own today? I'm going to buy three pennies worth of candy. Oh, fine, fine and dandy. I guess this case right here will have what you want. Now, these are two for a cent, and these come to one cent each, and... The candy's right here. You get a whole scoop full for a penny. Uh, I know. Uh, look them over and make up your mind what you want. Is, uh, is that your pa out front? Yes, sir. He's reading a handbill about Grizzly Grayson. I just put that handbill up this morning. I reckon a lot of folks will read it. Is it really true that there's a $2,500 reward? That's what it says, Bobby. $2,500 to the man who captures Grizzly Grayson. Oh, Golly, that's an awful lot of money. It sure is. But on the other hand, son, Grizzly Grayson is an awful lot of crook. Hello there, Sam. Well, hi, Lennox. I was just reading that handbill. It's a nice reward, huh? $2,500. Gosh, enough to pay up all my debts and take Mary and Bobby and me back to the States with enough left over to see us through till I get some kind of a job. <laughs> You're not counting on that reward money, are you? No, I, I'm not counting on it. But there's no law to keep a man from dreaming. What's this Grizzly Grayson look like? All I know about him is right on that handbill outside the door. A heavy beard, shaggy hair and eyebrows, and quick shooting with either hand. I read all that. They say Grizzly's mighty tricky, too. He's full of tricks. That's why he's been able to stay out of the hands of the law so long. Sam! Let's... That's gunfire. There's something going on across the street outside the bank. <laughs> Let me get this door open. You hear that, Lennox? Someone said it's Grizzly Grayson. I see him. He's firing at anyone he sees. Grizzly Grayson, eh? Well, I'm going to get that crook. Lennox, hold on. Come back here. You're no matter. Why you Daddy! Daddy, you're hurt. I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. Lennox! Lennox! Bobby, look out. Get back out of the way. His pockets bulging with stolen cash, Grizzly Grayson kept two guns blazing as he raced across the hard-packed snow to the end of the short street where a strong horse waited. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Daddy! Daddy, speak to me, Daddy! Speak to me! Two men lay on the snow in the middle of the road between the bank and the general store. One of these was Lennox, the father of Bobby. <laughs> Let me have a look, Bobby. Let me see how hard your dad's here. Oh. 
dirty, ornery, murdering scum. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Bob. I'm downright sorry. There's nothing I can do to help you, Pop. And by Juniper, I swear I'm going to do my level best to see that justice is done. Oh, won't, won't Daddy ever... Isn't he... He's gone, Bob. It'll comfort your ma to know he didn't suffer. I, Bob, look who's coming. A dog team. It's more than a dog team. It's Sergeant Preston and his lead dog, King. Well, that Marty couldn't have come here at a better time. Sergeant Preston. I heard the shooting. It was Grizzly Grayson. Lennox here and that other man you see got in his way when he came out of the bank after staging another robbery. He, he, he went that way. The ones who started out to chase him are coming back. How did he get away? He had a horse waiting at the end of the road. A horse? That's right, Sam. Howdy, Sergeant Preston. You should have been here five minutes earlier. Grizzly Grayson stuck up the bank. So I hear Nothing can be done for this man. I'll have a look at the other one. We went after Grizzly until we saw he had a horse. When he hit the saddle, it was no use trying to chase him on foot. How about uh, Lennox over there? He's gone. Oh. And this man, he's beyond help, too. Boys, there are a few horses here in town. Let's get him and go after that killer. How about you, How about you Sergeant Preston? You want to borrow a horse? Snow's too deep for horses, Sam. Before we do anything else... Let's do something about Bob Lennox. Ah, uh, the poor young one. Come with me, kid. <laughs> Bob, you and I have a man-sized job to do. <laughs> yes, sir. Your mother must be informed of this, uh, this robbery and the shooting. You better go with me, son, while I tell her. I'll need your help. Despite the fact that everyone in town admired and respected Sergeant Preston, most of the men thought he was making a mistake when he turned down the offer of a horse and set out on Grizzly Grayson's trail with King and the dog sled. Half a dozen men had started out on horses. They were far ahead of the mountain. Deep snow had drawn heavily on the strength of the horses. Why didn't Sam Jackson come with us? His horse is stronger than all these. Oh, he wanted to talk to Mr. Products in the corner. Several others before he started out. Hey, hey, Constable. Yeah. Look dead ahead. See that clump of evergreen? Yeah. Oh, oh, there. Oh, oh, there. Oh, there. There's something behind it. Yeah, I just saw it move. I think it's Grayson's horse. Uh, yeah, right. see, I told you his horse is tired just as quick as ours. Have your guns ready, boys. I'm ready. Uh, be prepared to shoot on sight. And remember, there's a big reward that's waiting for the man who gets that murdering grizzly Grayson. Now spread out and close in from all sides. Hey. Come on now. Get up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get up the horseman fanned out and then converged on the opposite side of a clump of evergreen where an exhausted horse stood silently. But there was no sign of Grayson. Oh, 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 oh. Well, where is he? Where? There's no place you can hide near now, here. Look out. Don't spoil the footprints in the snow. Boys, he's put it over on us. Same as he's put it over on the law and other parts of the Yukon. He planned this job ahead and planned it well. Look at those tracks in the snow. The tracks of a sled. And dogs. Yeah, dogs. He brought us this far from home on horseback, and he had a dog team and a sled here waiting. We've got no chance of overtaking him with these horses. Oh, we'll have to go back to town and get dogs and sleds. Should have listened to Sergeant Preston in the first place. We'll probably meet him when we're on the way to town. All right, let's get started. Hey. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Grayson drove his dogs at a killing pace. Sometimes he rode the runners, and sometimes he ran behind the sled. He headed deeper and deeper into the mountains, looking for a hiding place. Then he saw a large man, bearded like himself, who panned one of the many mountain streams. An idea took form in the killer's evil brain. Yes, so they have. They've gone just about as far as they're going. My name is Bascom. I've got a shack not far from here if you'd like to rest up. I got other plans. They call for switching hat and parker with you. Hey, put down that gun. All right. right. <coughs> yeah, put her down. Right on your head. And that'll hold you till I switch clothes. The constable and his men didn't follow their back trail. They returned to town by a more direct route. And therefore, missed Sergeant Preston and his dogs. King followed Grayson's trail to the clump of evergreens. There, the Mountie read and understood the footprints in the snow. Clear enough, King. Grayson had a sled and dogs waiting for him. Here's where the dogs were tied. Constable's party must have taken the killer's horse back to town. 
Looks like it's up to us to run down Grizzly Grayson. Back to work, King. Get the dogs in line. One thing, one! Presently, the Mountie reached the place where Hank Bascom had been knocked out. The prospector had regained consciousness, but his head still ached from the blow. Cracked me on my head for no reason at all. When I come to, I was wearing this hat and parka, and that crook took mine in their place. So that's why King was yeah. interested in the parka. He recognized the scent he'd been following. Yeah. Grizzly Grayson had a heavy beard, too, just like yours. Hey, I'll see here. Uh, if you suspect that I'm the murderer, Not scumbag. at all. Look at King. Uh, he knows the scent of the boots he's been following continues beyond here. He's trying to tell me. Sounds like your dog's impatient. We'll get on our way. Come on, boy. Sam Jackson, owner of the strongest horse in town, had started out long after Sergeant Preston in the hope of finding the man who had killed his friend. He had traveled at an easy gait, saving his horse as much as possible. He had followed the double trail made by Grayson and Sergeant easy, Preston. Boy. And he, too, came upon Hank Baskin. There he is. Sam saw the beard and the clothes of the killer and whipped out his gun. Get him up. Get him up, you murdering polecat. Hey, now, hold on. If you think oh, hurry, hold easy. Oh. I got you at last, you $2,500 prize crook. No, no, not. My name is Hank Baskin. Your name is Grizzly Grace. Now, listen to me, you jughead. I was slugged by that crook and my clothes stolen. He... He left that dog team here and went ahead on foot. A likely story. Uh, it's the truth, Dad Reddit. A body sergeant was here, and he believed me. Sergeant Preston? Uh, I guess so. He went on a hunting for the killer. Uh, I reckon you're telling the truth all right enough. Yeah, I am. You can feel the lump on my head. That'll back my story. Hey. <laughs> Maybe you're not Grizzly Grayson. But by Juniper, you'll do. Uh... What do you mean? That beard. Them clothes. Why, you'd fool anyone. You're worth $2,500. Come on, you're traveling back to Horsehead with me. Uh, but I... No one in town got a close look at Grayson's face. You'll get biased, Grayson, especially if you admit that you're here. Admit it? You think I'm local? Stay I... there. I'm still holding a gun on you. Yeah, but Listen I... to me. I'll take you in. You'll admit that you're Grizzly Grayson and let him throw you into jail. Uh, and hang... If I'm not lynched, I'll hang by law. You won't hang. I'll see to that. I'll collect the reward as soon as I turn you in. Then I'll slip you $500 and turn you loose from jail. But I don't want to get hung. I'm not asking what you want. That reward goes for Grayson, dead or alive. And that's how I'll take you in by thunder. Dead or alive. We'll continue our story in just a moment. Man, oh man, here's a breakfast treat. It's got them all beat. It's Quaker Pop Rice or Quaker Pop Wheat. These famous ready-to-serve breakfast cereals are shot from gun. Yes, Quaker Pop Wheat and Quaker Pop Rice are choice premium wheat or rice grains shot from gun. They're giant size, king size, colossal. They're actually exploded up, up, up to eight times normal size. That makes them bigger and better tasting. Yes, that's what makes wheat or rice shot from guns so crisp and tender. Talk about swell tasting. Even more important, Quaker Pop wheat and Quaker Pop rice are nourishing. Yes, both delicious kinds furnish extra food values of restored natural grain amounts of vitamin B1, niacin, and iron. They're quick and easy to fix. For breakfast, lunch, supper, or after-school snack. Just pour them out from those big Quaker red and blue packages. Add milk or cream. Top with your favorite fruit. And there you have it. A nutritious, thrifty, deluxe taste treat. Buy both delicious kinds. For variety, eat Quaker puffed wheat one time, Quaker puffed rice the next. Just remember, they're never sold in bags or bulk. To get the original crisp, fresh wheat or rice shot from guns, always look for the smiling Quaker man on the front of each big red and blue package. He's your guarantee that you're getting the one and only delicious Quaker puffed rice and Quaker puffed wheat. Now to continue our story. Sam Jackson thought he had captured the notorious outlaw named Grizzly Grayson. 
He was considerably let down when he learned that the man was a harmless prospector who had been compelled to change clothes with the fugitive. But Sam was not one to give up easily. He decided that the townsman and the constable might be fooled as he had been. So he planned to take the prospector into town in the hope of collecting a $2,500 reward. Meanwhile, the real outlaw had kept going deeper and deeper into the mountains after switching clothes with Bascom. Sergeant Preston followed relentlessly with his great dog, King, picking out the trail. Untangle them! Hang your heels! The Mountie reached LeBlanc Plateau, a wide expanse of mesa that was as flat as the top of a table. Then, far ahead, he saw the killer. There he is, King. That's the man we want. Come on, King. Get him. He can't get away. The patrol ends in a sheer drop. Go on, boy. Grayson ran awkwardly. He ran half-turn toward Preston and the dogs. He fired wildly without taking aim. Grayson, look out. You're nearing the edge. Look ahead. The killer wasn't looking ahead. He was watching the Mountie and the charging dog who was much nearer. Watch it, Grayson. There's a drop. Grayson went on in the grip of panic. He didn't hear the sergeant. He didn't look ahead, and he didn't see the sudden drop. Suddenly, the big plateau came to an abrupt end. Look out! Grayson went out into space. When Preston reached the edge of the plateau, he saw the lifeless form of the killer on the rocks a hundred yards below. Oh, you have to go. Well, King, he beat the law. It's a long roundabout trip to the floor of that canyon, but we'll have to make it, boy. Have to bring the body out and see if we can find the stolen cash. Get the dogs in line, King. We'll get started. It was a hard trip to the rocks where Grayson had died, and an even harder trip back to town. It was evening when the Mountie and his tired dogs met the constable at the edge of Horsehead. Okay. The dogs halted and flopped to the snow to rest. Well, Sergeant, glad to see you got back here. Too bad you had a wild goose chase. Wild goose chase? Yep. Old Sam Jackson put it over on all of us. Went out single-handed and brought back the killer. The killer? Sure. Grayson. Grizzly Grayson. Brought him back alive. Oh, you gotta hand it to Sam. You mean to say Sam Jackson brought in Grayson? That's right. He's in the jailhouse, and he's as meek as a lamb. How did Jackson get him? Well, me and the posse went out on horses, but had to come back for dogs. Sam started later and didn't travel fast enough to wear out his horse. Just kept going till he found Grayson in camp. Got the drop on him and brought him in. Hmm. Now, what's the matter, Sergeant? Did the prisoner admit that he was Grayson? Why, sure. How could he deny it? A dozen men identified him. By his clothing? Clothing and his beard. What about the stolen money? Well, that hasn't been found. I guess Grayson will keep the hiding place a secret in the hope he can make a deal with the law. Return the cash for leniency. Has Jackson applied for the reward? Sure he has. He's got a right to it. He has not. What? Grayson's not in jail. He was killed trying to escape. His body and the cash he stole from the bank are on my sled, under that robe there. Right, then who's the... Pre pre oh, gosh, Sergeant Preston. I, I just don't know what to make of it. The prisoner admitted he was Grizzly Grayson. Sam Jackson's trying to get away with something. We'll find out what it is. Have you got any idea who's in jail taking Grayson's name? Yes, if he's wearing Grayson's clothing, he's probably an old prospector from the hills, a man named Bascom. Hey. Take care of my dogs and sled and Grayson's body, will you, Constable? Yeah, but what are you going to do? I'm going to see the prisoner. Oh, Jim Herkimer's on guard. You know him. Yes. He'll unlock the door for you. All right. I'll see you later. Come on, King. Here you are, Sergeant Preston. Be careful. Grayson's dangerous. So I've heard. Come on, King. Call if you want anything. Well, Baskin? I... I'm Grayson. Grayson, eh? You've changed your name since we met in the hills. Fooled you, didn't I? You believed me when I said I'd change clothes with the man you was trailing. Fooled your dog, too. You didn't fool anyone. What's the idea, Baskin? Did Sam Jackson promise you a share of the reward he hopes to collect? I told you my name was Grayson. Baskin, you can't get away with this. We'll see. We'll see. For the last time, will you tell me the truth? I said I was Grayson. I'm sticking to it. Very well. I've given you a chance to come clean. Put on that parker. Uh, parker? Why? It's a cold night, and it's a long way to White Horse. White Horse? I, I'm not going to White Horse. Oh, yes, you are. But he, I... I... 
I'm wanted here in Horsehead. Grayson's already been tried and convicted of murder in White Horse. The hangman's waiting. Now get into that parka. Uh, hold on, this, this ain't right. Don't uh, tell me the law. But I, I didn't figure that. parka. Oh, my, no, no, I, I put that on. Don't, don't set that dog on me. I, but listen, Sergeant. Hagerman. Yeah? Open this door. Tell the constable I'm taking the prisoner to the hangman in White Horse. All right. No, I, I don't want to hang you. This way, Grayson. Just go straight ahead. I, I didn't figure on things turning out like this. Now, listen, Sergeant, I lied to yes, you. Yes, you said your name was Bascom. You certainly fooled me when we met in the hills. Fooled King, too. No, no, I, I, I don't mean that. Just now I lied. I, I'm not Grayson. I am Bascom. I said it was Grayson because Sam Jackson promised me a share of the reward. Why would you want a share of the reward? What good would it do you if you're going to hang? Sam said I wouldn't hang. He promised to get me out of jail, and he swore he'd set me free. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, Herkimer. So Jackson was going to set you free. When? Tonight. He said he'd come masked and overpower the guard. Jackson said that? He, no one would ever know I wasn't Grizzly Grayson, so Sam figured he could collect the reward for bringing me in even if I did get loose. I see. I, I didn't have no choice. Jackson said I could come willingly and have a share of the reward, or, or he'd shoot me and bring me in dead. Where can I find Sam Jackson? Well, he, he said he was going to call a Mrs. Lennox. It was her husband who was shot this morning by Grayson. Oh, yes, Bobby's mother. I know where she lives. Uh, I'll see Jackson there. I'd like to call on Jackson with you, Sergeant Preston. No, Huckamer. You take Baskin to the edge of town, see he starts back to his camp. You, you let me go. Get back to your camp and stay there and hurry before I change my mind. Yes, sir. I, I won't give you no more trouble. Go with him, Huckamer. Be sure he leaves town. Herkimer left the jail with Bascom, and a minute later, Sergeant Preston and the great dog King made their way through the darkness to the house that had been saddened by the murder of Bob Lennox. Through the window, the Mountie saw Sam Jackson talking to the widow. I'd like to know what he's telling her, King. <laughs> the two were at the far end of the small house. There's a window at the rear. If we go around to that, we may be able to hear him. I don't like to eavesdrop, King, but this is a mighty unusual situation. With his dog, the sergeant moved to a rear window. Inside, Sam Jackson was talking to Mrs. Lennox. Ah, you might just as well take that cash, Mrs. Lennox. You've sure got a right to it. Oh, but Mr. Jackson, $2,000. The reward for Grizzly Grayson is 2500 And by rights, it should go to your husband. He was after that reward when he went gunning for Grayson this morning. What's more, he'd have got the ornery killer if he hadn't had the bad luck to stop a bullet. Now, you take that cash, and I'll see that Bob's debts are paid up out of the other 500 But you haven't collected the reward. This is really your own money. I'll collect when the reward is paid. But you can't wait. Bob wanted you and his son to be back in the States. If you leave here first thing in the morning, you can just about catch the last boat. You wait around till the reward is paid, and you'll have to wait till the spring thaw. Well, he'd want you to take that cash and get out of the Yukon. So you just get your things together and figure on starting out tomorrow morning. Uh, what? what? You, Jack. Hey, what is it? Come on, boys. Here he is. What does this mean? We've come to see this crook. Now, now, you see here. We know all you... about your scheme. The banker will fix you. You bet I will. Uh, uh, banker Morton. Herkimer told me everything. Jackson, you tried to pass off a man named Bascom as Grizzly Grayson, the crook who robbed my bank. Oh, uh, no, please. Listen, Mr. Morton. You hope to collect the reward for that crook's capture. I'm surprised you didn't try to collect my personal reward as well. But then you couldn't collect that without recovering the bank's money that was stolen this morning. You, you mean he didn't really capture Grizzly Grayson? No, he didn't. We ought to throw Jackson in jail. I'll fix him. I'll break you, Jackson. I'll use all my influence to put you out of business. Why, uh... I didn't mean no harm. I wasn't going through with any claims for that reward. I, I just wanted to help Mrs. Lennox. I, I knew she wouldn't take no cash from me, but I figured she'd take it if she thought it was reward. <laughs> uh, a likely story. I'm telling the truth. I don't believe you. I do. Well, Sergeant Preston. Sergeant, where'd you come from? I was outside the back window. I heard most of what went on. I'm satisfied that Jackson simply wanted to help Mrs. Lennox. I don't think he had any selfish aims. I don't know. He's already given his own money to Mrs. Lennox. At best, he could only break even if he collected the reward for the capture of Grizzly Grayson. How about the $1,000 I offered for the return of the money stolen from my bank? Do you have it with you, Mr. Morton? Yes, I got it ready when I heard about the capture. Would you pay it before your stolen money was returned? Well, no. 
then how could Jackson claim it fraudulently? There's no way Jackson could benefit by putting Bascom in jail in Grayson's place. He did it only to help the wife and son of his best friend. Dear Sam, I, I can't take this money now that I know it's your own cash and, and that you'll not get it back. Dad, write it. You won't be able to go back to the States like, like Bob wanted. That trick of yours gave Grayson plenty of time to make good his escape. We called off the manhunt when you came in with the imposter. Uh, You're wrong, Herkimer. Grayson didn't escape. He's dead. He was killed when he fell into a canyon. I brought him back. And Mr. Morton, I've also brought back your money. You have? All of it? I'm sure you'll find it intact. Well, then you, Preston... You're entitled to the reward. No, King's the one who ran the outlaw down. Your dog? Yes. Well, in that case, I, I suppose the dog will claim the rewards. The government reward for the capture of Grayson will not be claimed. As for your personal offer of $1,000 for the return of the money stolen from your bank... I'll pay it. I'll be glad to pay it. King has no use for money. I suggest you give it to Mrs. Lennox. Oh, oh, that's the ticket. That'll take her and Bobby back to the States. How about it, Morton? Well, I'll be happy to. I'll bring you a cash within the next half hour. Very well. Here, Mrs. Lennox, I guess I can take the sergeant's word that the cash will be in my hand soon. Here, take this money now. Oh, oh, Mr. Morton, Sergeant Preston, Sam Jackson, I'm so grateful to all of you. And you, King. You were the one who really made it possible for Bobby and me to... To go back home. You... You're a grand dog. <laughs> King's embarrassed. Come on, King. We'll get the banker's cash, and then we'll call this case closed. In just a moment, Sergeant Preston will give you a preview of Monday's adventure. Here's a tip. Hurry to your grocer. Get new Model Farm packages of Quaker Puff Wheat and Quaker Puff Rice, the ready-to-serve breakfast cereals shot from guns. Yes, your grocer now has them. You get 46 colorful models of farm buildings, farm equipment, and farm animals. These models come on eight different packages of delicious wheat or rice shot from guns. What's more, these exciting models are yours at no extra cost. Don't miss out. Start building yourself a model farm prato. And remember, these keen new models come only with swell-tasting, crisp, tender Quaker puffed wheat and Quaker puffed rice. They're waiting for you now on your grocer's shelves, so hurry! These radio dramas, a feature of the challenge of the Yukon Incorporated, are created and produced by George W. Trendle and directed by Fred Flowerday. This story was written by Fran Stryker. The part of Sergeant Preston is played by Paul Sutton. They are brought to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the same time by Quaker Puff Wheat and Quaker Puff Rice. The breakfast cereals shot from guns. Listen Monday when Sergeant Preston and Yukon King meet the challenge of the Yukon in the case of Rogue's Progress. Blackie was a dog who had been so badly mistreated that he feared and hated all men. He was known as a killer. But I couldn't believe that he was really vicious at heart. That's why I agreed to train him. To try and train him, I should say. It was dangerous work every second of it. And I was more than thankful I had King to help me. Be sure to hear this exciting adventure Monday. For a delicious hot breakfast, eat Quaker Oats. The giant of the cereals is Quaker Oats. Yes, the giant of the cereals is Quaker Oats. Delicious, nutritious, makes you feel ambitious. The giant of the cereals is Quaker Oats. Say, boys and girls, do you want to be a star someday in sports and activities? Then start on good Quaker Oats breakfast tomorrow. Because nourishing oatmeal gives you more growth and endurance than any other whole grain cereal. Still less than one penny a serving. Quaker and Mother's Oats are the same.
This is J. Michael wishing you goodbye, good luck, and good health from Quaker Pop Wheat and Quaker Pop Rice. So long. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company. <laughs>